Hey guys, what is up? Today I come to you with yet another weekly review of Sakamoto Desuga. In this week's episode, episode 8, we have, in, we're in Sakamoto's school, there is a cultural festival going on. And his class, um, class 1-2, they are setting up where they have to make their classroom pres um, presentation where they have to try to make it exhibit as like that of, uh, how you say it? unknown creatures like yumas like aliens and like like creatures that are mythical and all of that stuff so that was their classroom presentation and all the other classes were to do something different now the first years while they were doing presentation third years were doing like plays and the second years were probably doing stands with the foods and all of that stuff so while their classroom was doing that we have two boys we have three characters but um, one in particular, we got his name. The other two characters that were in their classroom, I, I don't think their names were introduced into this week's episode. But um, they're part of the major role that was also happening, that was unfolding for what was happening. So these, these two characters that were classmates of Sakamoto, they weren't really helping with the class, their classmates in preparation for their, for the um the festival that was going on and they were not being very cooperative so you know they they're putting blame on everybody else and you know if it wasn't for Sakamoto cuz that's what people in the in the show like to do they like putting blame on Sakamoto for a lot of things and like if he wasn't there we would have got recognition or people would have liked us and yada 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 and we see where um Hayabusa um senpai he is also taking participation in the festival and what he's doing he's doing with the cotton candy it's very contrast uh a total contrast towards his um character and his personality but you you get the gist that Hayabusa was never a bad guy to begin with he plays a, a bad boy role while at the same time having a heart of gold so that's his character and then there's this character that came in this new character that came in who I, I automatically liked. I usually don't like bad boys in um, a lot of series. But this guy automatically made me want to say. Like I want to see more of him. Just like Hayabusa and any other character that I saw in this series. This is a character that I want to see more. Because this week's episode ended kind of on a cliffhanger. Making, it, making you seem that he might reappear again because the way it ended it was like you know this character is going to show up again and cause havoc for Sakamoto so he goes by the name of Fukasa Senpai and the first thing he does is that as soon as he's introduced he goes up to Hayabusa and he's asking him like you know what's going on what's happening in the school because he doesn't come to school very often and then he takes Hayabusa's face and that cotton candy machine he pushes his face into it and bruises his nose and everything so I'm like yo what the heck is wrong with this guy he has an evil look and everything but I already like him so we come to find out that this guy he hardly comes to school um there's rumors going around that um not only does he not hardly come to school he is someone that's possibly in their mid-30s he already had two divorces um he has failed so many classes and like you, I mean, his appearance kind of looks older than most students, but um, some students look older than others. Um, he is a senpai to Hayabusa, making him a third year, but all these rumors going around about him saying all this stuff, it's like, it's unbelievable. But the whole reason of him coming back is that whenever he comes back to school, he always likes to set up a game where if you are the most liked person in the school, he'll try to make it that you are non-existent anymore that you lose your place as a person who was well liked basically you become non-existent you're no longer liked and possibly you may want to um transfer or drop out of that school and that's who, every time he comes back that's what he does he plays a game around these certain people and his target this time was um sakamoto so he put the blame on sakamoto by using the two students that were in his class that weren't helping with the um presentation for them to destroy the presentation and put the blame on Sakamoto. Now they have the whole school trying to go after Sakamoto for a reward if they capture him. And he's just sitting back and chilling. Fukasa is just chilling back and, and seeing all the chaos that's going on in the school while the festival is going on. Of course, Sakamoto finds a way to overcome this situation where he uses helium and tried to... You know, disguise his voice saying that, trying to make them reveal, saying that they're the ones who 
cause the um the destruction of their presentation and of course they're forgiven by their classmates by sakamoto's hands so they eventually do fix up what was needed to be fixed in their class and of course um Sakamoto's name is cleared up throughout the entire school, but I have a feeling like this guy, he's in, I don't know what he has against Sakamoto, I mean, yes, he wants to go after the kid, that's most like, but, um, I, I think there's something more to it, because it, it felt like this episode just left, like I said, left on a cliffhanger, because it looks like he has something else up his sleeve for Sakamoto, so this is not the last time we're gonna see Fukase Senpai, so, the festival went off without a hitch. Um, everything was was um redeem redeemed back in the end. But this character, I have a feeling he's gonna play a bigger role by the time the um the series ends. But we just have to see. So if you saw this week's episode of Sakamoto Desuga, um, tell me in the comment section below what do you think about this new character um by the name of Fukase, and what do you think his role will be for the rest of the episodes to come. How do you feel about this week's episode? I would love to hear about that. Um, the links are in the description box so you guys go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends Podcast, and I will see you guys later. Bye!